Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And here I have game two for you of the 1982 Seattle Mariners hosting the 1909 Chicago White Sox. The first game of the series, you'll recall the White Sox barely lost to the Mariners. And uh, that game got such a nice reception that I was definitely going to make sure I came back as soon as possible with game two of the series. So this will be game two. It will be Sleepy Bill Burns going up for the White Sox. You might remember him from Eight Men Out. He was one of the uh, player gamblers that was involved in the um, in the ring. He was. Um, he was played by the guy that played Doc Brown in Back to the Future. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> that was uh, that's a little brief history on Sleepy Bill Burns. And then going up against one of my all-time favorite pitchers, Floyd Bannister, who went on later after this to pitch for the White Sox in 1980. I think he was on the, on the White Sox in 1983. Maybe the next year. Might have been. But anyway, yeah. So he was one of my uh, all-time favorites. So let's turn down the volume and get on with the game. So this should be an interesting one. Hopefully we can win this one, and then that'll set it up so that I can put Big Ed Walsh up in game three and hopefully win that and we got at the plate against banister and what's gonna what's that gonna be oh and let me see here i gotta see options dice card splits let's see because i did get the suggestion to show the dice roll dice roll automatically all three stop together i think that will do it um yeah that should be good all right so we got all ties are up nope it didn't do it all right let me see i'm going to try one more thing see if i can uh game preferences Let's see. Dice mode. That's what I now. Hopefully it now it works. There we go. Yeah, you can see now here's the dice roll. And Patsy Daugherty works a walk. So we got a man on with two down and parent up at the plate and he is going to ground out. So we came away with nothing there, and uh, that puts us in the field with Sleepy Bill Burns dealing to Julio Cruz, who gets a single. And now we're going to have to definitely watch it. Well, yeah, I think we still will. Unless the watch is already on. Yeah, the watch was already on, so. Manny Castillo. And hopefully that's a double play. Nope. One out, though. Cruz at second. Bakhti up. Bruce Bakhti, who hit a key home run in game one. And if you didn't see game one, it was a very good game. I suggest you go back and check it out. 1909 White Sox at 1982 Mariners. It should be easy to find. And there's Richie Zisk doubling in a run. And so now the Mariners have a lead in game two. And that brings up Al Collins. And he's going to fly out. So they take a one nothing lead. Hopefully we can, uh, make, we can make a comeback here. We got Cole up at the plate, whoever that is. I don't remember him playing in game one of the series. And he's out. Pertel is up. And he singles. 
80% ceiling, but I'll let him stay there right now. And then Isbell is going to hit a line out to first, and there's two down. So now I will try to steal. Uh, you know what? I'm going to attempt it. And that didn't. So 45% chance, and it didn't work. And then uh, Burns walks Gary Gray. And that brings up Dave Henderson. And he gets a pop out first. He works a pop out. Brings up Todd Cruz and he pops out to short. And that brings up Bulling, and Bulling is going to ground out to shortstop. So Burns gets us out with just the leadoff hit by Gary Gray, and then that brings up Owens to lead off for us, and he walks. Nice. Gets aboard. Let's see what we got in the stealing department here. Not that great. I'm going to let Messenger hit, and he walks. So now, with a team that can bunt and handle the bat, I might just want to do that. So we're going to try to bunt with ats up. And he gets the job done. So now we got runners at second and third with, with one out and all ties are up at the plate, and he strikes out. Just, this is why I don't like to sacrifice people. Patsy Daugherty up at the plate, and he is going to single in at least one run now. So, thank God, and I am going to send the lead runner. And I'm even going, no, I'm going to hold the trail. So, Daugherty there, now I'm going to try to steal with Daugherty. And I'm still going to do it at 55%, and he does make it easy. And that brings up Parent. With him at second, we have a 2-1 to one lead. And that's a strikeout. Hate to take advantage of my main man, Bannister, but, you know, got to do it. So, Julio Cruz, he's dealing. Bill, Bill Burns is dealing to Cruz, and he allows him to get single. So, man aboard. Oh, he's going to try to steal, and he makes it. Manny Castillo up, up, and he is going to hit fly ball, thankfully. So one way, Bakke up at the plate, and he strikes out. That's two down for the Mariners here in the third. We have a 2-1 lead. And Zisk up, who doubled in a run last time in this same exact situation, pretty much, flies out this time. So, Burns gets us out of the inning, and now it's Cole against Bannister, and he flies out. He's over for 2. That brings up Pertel, and Pertel is hit by a pitch. I'll take it any way I can get it. 80% stealing. Let's see what happens. He's off to the races, and he makes it. So Isbell up with a man at second and only one out. And that's a walk. Isbell gets aboard. And Owens is up, and he's flying out right between two great possible outcomes. So that's going to be two down. And... Uh, I'll hold the runner and then Messenger's up. And that's going to be a home run for Messenger, except they don't hit home runs back then. So it's really just going to be a single and another run scores. And that's going to bring up Ats, and then Ats gets grounds into a double play. Now, see, that's one of those situations. That home run 1 to 11 or 13 or whatever, and then the double. 
It's one of those situations where you didn't want to get the uh, er, the lower roll. So anyway, Burns gets Cowens out, lead off the Mariners fourth, and then that brings up Gary Gray, and Gary Gray just misses getting a hit and hits gonna line if they're ground out. And then Dave Henderson. And Henderson is gonna be out. So we go to the, the top of the fifth. We've got a three to one lead. And all ties are at the plate, and he just again got right between two things. Actually, there was somebody else that got right, right between two things at that same roll. But Daugherty, Daugherty is going to triple with one out. We really got to knock him in. Knocking him in is absolutely critical. And that brings up Parent. And Parent is going to hit a ground ball. B. Does, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to advance. And we did get the run. So now we have a 4-1 to lead. And Cole is up. And he strikes out. So. It brings up Todd Cruz. Who strikes out. Burns. Sleepy Bill Burns, man. He is smoking people. Bulling. Bulling is out. And that brings up a Cruz. And Cruz is going to strike out. And now we've got Pertel coming up for us. Top of the sixth like to put a little bit more on there and just put this game right away. Put it to bed. Isbell up. And Isbell is out. Frank Isbell done. And that brings up Owens. And Owens is going to line out so we don't get any runs in the sixth. We do go to the bottom of the sixth, though, maintaining our... 4-1 lead with Manny Castillo at the plate, and he somehow gets a double. So, yeah. They're taking Burns down. They're trying. Bakhti up, and Bakhti strikes out. Thank you. One down with Castillo at the second, and Richie Zisk up. The dangerous Richie Zisk gets out. He's going to line out. And that brings up a Collins and Al Collins and Al Collins is out, or he will be. And then that brings up Messenger for us. Here we are in the top of the seventh. It's getting late for the Mariners. Atz is up. Atz flies out. Now that's the guy that's right between two good outcomes. And didn't get it again. And Altizer is at the plate and he hits a ground ball to short. That's going to be Todd Cruz. And he's out. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch playing here. And Sleepy Bill Burns is looking to go to the distance, and he allows a single. Gary Gray is aboard. And now another single. Back-to-back -back singles. Dave Henderson gets one. Todd Cruz is up with no outs. That is going to be a ground ball C. So that allows both runners to advance to second, over to second and third. And there's going to be a pinch hitter, Bobby Brown, but he's going to fly out. That will not get a run now, as it's only the second out of the inning. And then that brings up Julio Cruz, and he's going to fly out. So they did get a run, and they make the score now 4-2 to two as we go to the top of the eight. And like I said, it would be nice if we could tack a couple on here. Daugherty is having a great game, and uh, he almost could have had another triple there, but he didn't. It's going to be a fly ball. 
parent is up and he's out. And that brings up Cole. And that's going to be a ground ball for Cole. White Sox gone in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Mariners losing by two. And Manny Castillo at the plate against still sleepy Bill Burns, who's giving up hits like it's a going out of uh, business. Bruce Bakhti is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball B. So Bakhti should be the man at first base now. With one down, and Richie Zisk goes. And Richie Zisk is going to tie the game. Are you believing this? Because I'm not. Oh, wait. Wait. No, he did. It's two, three. No, it's four to three. It's four to three. Oh, I thought they'd scored another run earlier. Hmm. All right, well, I'll take it. I mean, I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. But I was sure that the Mariners got a run last inning or something, or the inning before. I don't know. So Gary Gray is up, and that's going to be a single. I'm going to have to take a look at our bullpen, because I don't – Burns is getting – Yeah, he's tired. He is tired, as a matter of fact. So let's go out and see what we got. Um Visiting bullpen, you know what? Doc White could pitch because Doc White is not playing in the game. So he is going to pitch. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. No, I put him in at DH. All right, so I got to put somebody else in then. I guess we'll put Suter in to pitch. I, that was my mistake, but anyway. Did Suter come in last game? I don't know if he did. Anyway, it's going to be Suter. And Simpson is coming in to pinch run, and they are going to hit a fly ball with Dave Henderson and get out of the inning. And so we maintain a 4-3 lead, going to the top of the ninth. And Pertel is up at the plate, and he singles. So let's see if we can just, you know, lop a couple more runs on there. Isbell up. And Isbell with a single. Runners at the corners. Owens up, and he strikes out. That brings up Doc White, the new DH that I just put in, and he triples. Maybe that was, well, yeah, yeah. All right, well, maybe that was a good idea then. And now Bannister's tired. And Doc White's at third after his triple and probably gives us, now see, that was genius on my part right there. And they bring in Anderson to pitch. I don't know who that is. Larry Anderson. I don't. And that's going to be an error and allows another run in. So now it's really kind of um, academic. We're probably going to win this game. That's two down. And Doherty gets walked in favor of Parent, which turns out to be a good idea on their part. And so now I'm going to go make another pitching change. Because I think this guy, I think Suter pitched last game. So um, we'll bring in Frank Smith and let him get the last, try to get the last couple of outs. Ground ball to short, parent up with it. And he's safe. That's an error because... Parent is a shortstop 2E65, which you don't see very often. Isbell trying to play that. And uh, that's one out. So we got a runner Rick Sweet at first. And there's going to be a fly ball for the second out by Julio Cruz. 
minutes. And that's going to leave it up to Manny Castillo. And he pops out, and the White Sox win game two of this series. So you do not want to miss game three, the deciding game of the 1909 White Sox versus the inimitable 1982 Mariners. And so there we are. Burns went seven and two-thirds, gave up nine hits and walked a man but only gave up three earned runs. Bannister went eight and a third, gave up seven hits, walked four, and gave up six earned runs. So make sure to tune in for the third and rubber game of the series. But for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.